<laughs> last minute fashion yes. fixes. Get it together. <laughs> that, always there that, you know what happens to even <laughs> us too, the host of this show. All right. Well, hopefully everybody on the red carpet has a friend like <laughs> Philip Block because before the Oscar hopefuls pick up their golden statues, they have to first sashay down the red carpet and the question of the night becomes not who's going to win, but what are you wearing and who are you wearing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and here to dish on this year's Oscar fashion predictions based on previous award shows <laughs> is fashion expert Philip Block. Welcome back, I, as always. I need you to walk down the red carpet. Exactly, right. exactly. So we don't want any uh, wardrobe malfunctions. No wardrobe no. malfunctions. There won't be any slips over here anyway. Yeah. We can be sure of that. Uh, first of all, what can we really expect from the uh, fashions this year? What are the trends? High and glamour. You know, people always ask, what are the trends at the Oscars? Gowns. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's really about gowns, and now in a time where it's all about personal style, it really depends on the person, what they're going to go for. You know, it's about the designer names. We're going to see Dior. We're probably going to see some Ely Saab. We're going to see some Zuhair Murad. Mm -hmm. J-Lo will be there. That's her favorite. Okay. Some Armani, some Valentino. You know, it's about the names, but the trends have really sort of gotten smaller. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, you mentioned a lot of designer names. Can we expect to see a lot of new emerging designers also represented? I don't really think so. There's Too not risky. a lot of great emerging designers out oh. there in this mm. category, in okay. nominated for this category. <laughs> 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 well, you know, I mean, we, you talked about Zahir Murad. You, you know, there's some more uh, established designers, Oscar de la Renta, Carolina Herrera. How much preparation usually goes into, though, putting together the whole entire look from head to toe? Some people it takes weeks, and some people you only get a couple days. You know, they're still announcing presenters right up until, I think, yesterday or the day before. And it's always very interesting. People don't realize this. This is a show. This is a show. It's not mm -hmm. just about the awards. So they look for their diversity. As you look into the presenters, like, we didn't have any African-American mm -hmm. or or black people nominated, right. really. There were no black women. So what do we have as presenters? We have Kerry Washington. We have Viola Davis. Trying we have make Octavia Spencer. Yeah. They, you know, they kind of add the color in the presenters, or the yeah. flavor, shall we say. Right, well, let's definitely talk about those later, but we also want to get to the specific actresses that are nominated for some of the categories. For example, we have Felicity Jones for Theory of Everything. Now, she's one of the youngest people who's going to be there represented this year. Should she keep it young and hip, or should she try to go safe with the she, statement gown. She seems to go for very structured, like at the at the Golden Globe, she wore Dior. She wore this mm. beautiful blue spruce colored, very structured, covered up. She's a real fashion girl, but she's not like a sexy fashion girl. Mm. She's a fashion girl. And then she wore Balenciaga for the SAG Awards, and then she wore Dior again at the BAFTAs. Mm. Very covered up, very closed, very regal. Yeah. She's a regal dresser. What about Julianne Moore? We know that she Julianne Moore. She stuns. Yes. She is just fabulous. I've worked with her many times over the years, and she's been to the Oscars before. This is actually her fifth nomination. Mm. Wow. So I, I loved her at the Golden Globe. She wore Givenchy, that silver dress with, like, the bluish gray as it ombre down. was beautiful with the feathers. She wore Givenchy at the SAG Awards. Absolutely stunning, that green. She wears an emerald green. Aubergine and emerald oh, green. Those yeah, are her those colors. are her colors. And she wore emerald green when she's been at the Oscars before, so okay. I doubt she'll do it again this time. And then just recently at the BAFTA, she wore Tom Ford, who's a good friend of hers. Mm -hmm. He directed her. A single man. Yes, and yeah. a single man. And she wore this plunging red neckline. Oh, she looks so that. gorgeous in red. I, mm. I love her in that. As a redhead, she does. Mm. Yeah, she does, she'll but go for she'll, red wear, again. she'll wear a pop of color. She wore that day glow dress to the Golden Globes one time. She okay. really throws. You love her. All right, I love her. we got to talk about some of these other. Ladies. Okay, so what about Reese Witherspoon? She's nominated for Wild, but will her dress be tamed? Well, <laughs> Reese again, she's a lady. She dresses elegant. She's been wearing a lot of white lately. Mm -hmm. At the SAG Awards, she wore Armani at the SAG Awards. Beautiful one shoulder. She wore, actually, she wore Calvin Klein at the Golden Globes, which was really beautiful. That was mm -hmm. beaded, simple, chic, kind of a whitish silver color. So she's been going in that direction. And when she actually won a few years ago for Walk the Line, she wore a vintage Christian Dior. But there was a whole scandal about that because it really? wasn't really vintage and somebody else had worn it a year or two yeah. before. Well, oh, Jennifer Aniston scandal. tried to do vintage recently and yeah. I don't know that that worked out so well. <laughs> vintage is supposed to <laughs> yeah. be 25 years yeah, older. like okay. old, older. Yeah. I'm vintage. <laughs> <laughs> Very. Let's, let's talk about Emma Stone and Best Supporting Actress. She and like the likes of like Anna Kendrick and stuff, they've been wearing a lot of pants lately on the red carpet. Is Oscars a time to wear pants or no, no? Emma Stone is cutting edge. Everything mm. she does is perfect and we've really kind of seen her evolve as a style girl. You know, last time she went to the Oscars she wore Dior in 2000. 
something or other. It was a couple of years ago. Red, big bow, very beautiful. But the last couple times she's been, she's been in Dior or Lanvin, Jean-Baptiste Valley. She's wearing these kind of the French names. Sure. And she wore the pants with the bow kind of hanging with the drape on the side. Really beautiful. And then at the, at the uh, SAG Awards, she wore this beautiful Dior with the long blazer and the sheer mm. skirt. So she does something cutting edge, something unexpected. And it takes a certain girl like that to carry that yeah, off. Yeah, sort of the it girl. Yeah, definitely. she's the it fashion girl. Yeah, I don't think Patricia Arquette would be going cutting edge. No. But, no. but I'm sure she'll wear something very different from what she wore in the movies. Boy yes. <laughs> well, she's been doing a lot of cleavage. You know, she's oh. she's gotten a little matronly over the years. She's buxom. I, okay. Yeah, she's buxom. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> she's a body wench. Right. You know, but she accentuates the waist. Showing a lot of cleavage and chest is really good for her. I, I, I think she's really, she's a winner. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's won every award along the way. All right, mm -hmm. here's a little wafy fashionista, yes. Kira Knightley, of course. Now, we know that Chanel is her sponsor, so of course she's going to wear those, but I hope she doesn't wear any moss on her dress like she did recently. Oh, <laughs> my <laughs> gosh. Yeah. She has just been getting it wrong. Pregnancy <laughs> is, you know, some women glow when they're pregnant. This has not been the case for Kira. You know, mm -hmm. she looks beautiful, but she looks like she's having a hard pregnancy. You just see it in her face on the pictures on the red carpet. And uh, she didn't go to a couple of the award shows early on because she was having a tough time. And the dresses have not been good. Maybe she can yeah. stick, stick to something simple with Chanel. Yeah, yeah the, 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 SAG, uh, the SAG Awards was really beautiful. She did this aubergine dress. She didn't even go to the BAFTAs recently. Mm. So uh, uh, it'll be interesting to see what okay. she wears. What about the guys? Yeah, it seems like the guys never get any love at the Oscars. They're like, ah. The outfits are boring. Uh, they're boring. They're okay, boring. Well, well, Matthew McConaughey. There's your okay. man to watch. You know, Jared Leto and Matthew will be back. Their outfits okay. are something to watch. You know, Matthew. Well, I love this blue. So yeah, Matthew tomorrow. spices it up. He brings it. But again, okay. he's the Dolce & Gabbana spokesperson, so he knows how to step up his style. And he, you know, he's a wild guy. You know, he, he likes to have fun. <laughs> all right, all right, and all Camilla, right. And Camilla, Camilla, that's the one to watch. I was just oh, about to say. Okay. Camilla. She, she yeah, steps she, it up for him. She steps it up. She's the yeah. best accessory. I was about to say. <laughs> what about some of the presenters? We were saying earlier, Viola Davis, uh, Kerry Washington. What are these folks going to be wearing? These are ones to watch. And this is where you get the flavor. And this is where the casting goes into the show. Mm -hmm. You know, the nominees are the nominees. But this is where they get diversity in age, in ethnicity. I think Vi Viola Davis has been just stunning. You know, and she's been to the Oscars before. Back in 2012, she wore that green Vera Wang. And she did something very iconic at that moment. She went without her wig. She wore very simple makeup because mm -hmm. she wanted people to see her for her. So let's see what she does tonight. I bet the wig will be back on on Sunday. And <laughs> She <laughs> made her point. Yeah. Yes. One of my favorites, of course, Carrie Washington, but it's, it's sometimes hit and miss with her. Yeah, yeah she's, she's been to the Oscars before. In 2013, she wore Mew Mew. It was beautiful. It was this little pink and kind of watermelon color dress with a little embellishment up there. It was Prada, really beautiful. And then she wore Jason Wu in 2014. She was very pregnant, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That was one of the best looks I think she ever had. But then at the Golden Globes this year, ay, 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 you liked it, but okay. I wasn't a big fan. Not a huge fan. <laughs> we also enough. know we got Oprah and Zoe Saldana, and who else? I mean, oh, Oprah. You know, Oprah loves a big, wide open neckline. She's been to the Oscars many, many times herself. You know, and you, she wears, you know, she likes to wear like Foray. She'll wear something Valentino. She's done Vera Wang. She loves a color and something very open, very stately and elegant. Lapita Nyong'o. Yes, last now, year's she, favorite. Last year's favorite okay. fashion darling in that blue Prada that, you know, she made us all valid. All our dreams became valid. But the dresses have not been quite right since then. And, really? You know, there was that thing at the Met Gala, that Prada thing with the oh. feathers. That was La, living La Vida Loca. <laughs> living La Vida La Vida Loca. And then this Ely Saab dress that she wore recently. People, some loved it, some didn't. Not my favorite. It looked like an odd test, you know, on the TV. Right. Okay. You know, it was not my favorite. Zoe Saldana, always again, another fashion it girl. Big girl. Little, but she takes a little risk, though, right? Lots She's of risk. Different. Okay. Something a little different. So we look to her for something special, something that you go, hmm. But Philip, is this the right time to be taking a risk for her and anyone else? Well, if you're Bjork in a swan dress, no. If you're okay. Zoe Saldana in Givenchy, <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. We'll be watching to see who gets it right and who gets it wrong. Oh, I'm sure there'll be quite a few rights and oh, too many the, the wrongs. Misses, okay. The misses yeah. are always a part of the hits as All well. Right. Philip Block, thanks so much for My joining pleasure. us with Oscar Fashion tonight. Definitely. We'll be right back with more Rise Entertainment 360.